firstly, the, the name of the craft brewery itself is the Wall City Brewery on the premises. Really, provenance was a very important just when we were naming the brewery. So the Wall City Brewery obviously attaches itself to the Wall City across the water and it, it makes it fairly clear to people coming to the city that this is a, these would be beers that are brewed locally. My name is James Huey, uh, I'm 37. I was uh, born in Muff and I went to Comer Primary School and I went to Foyle College, so I'm sort of dairy born and bred. I then went down to Dublin, went to Trinity College for four years and stayed on in Dublin actually and joined the, the Diageo Graduate Scheme and, and I brewed with them for 12 very good years, sort of learning about the big brands in terms of how to brew. So brewing really is my trade, and my apprenticeship. I then I met my wife in Dublin and she decided actually, who, and she's a dub, to come back up to Derry. And we were, we were living up here for the last four or five years. I continued to work in Dundalk and commute really to from Dundalk to Derry. And then the, the brewery in, in Dundalk closed in 2013 and really we were left, okay, what are we going to do next? We're at a key stage now. We're just finishing off the electrics in the actual building. We'll then just do a, a lot more sort of um, the polishing off in terms of cleaning up and also getting a few extra little aesthetic pieces in terms of pictures, painting the, multi, the, the mosaic behind us here and also the mirrors on the bar. So it's really bringing it from an amazing level, hopefully to a wow level at the end. First part is the, is the restaurant, and there's also a smoking area and kitchen. So they're effectively going to be making um, slow cooked smoked foods, which tie in with the beers very well. Um, all local, authentic quality and uh, flavoursome. The second area is the area we're sitting in here, which is sort of the the tasting experience. So this will be full of high stools and really for tourists and visitors and locals to come in. I'll take them through a tasting experience, talk them through beers, the history of brewing. Um, the history of brewing specifically in the city and then the final piece, piece which is really the unique thing um, in terms of this business model is that the fact that we have a brewery actually in the building itself. We have a large brew kettle which is brews about 200 litres at a time. We then have fermentation vessels which are about 500 and 200 litres and um, then we're going to have sort of finishing vessels as well. This will all be in sight of the actual tasting experience and the restaurant and that's a real unique selling point. It's really the first in Northern Ireland for us to do that. In terms of the beers themselves, the first one was Boom, which is a dairy pale ale. Um, this is a really named after the, the boom that was across the river, 1609, that stopped the, the relief of the siege of Derry. So again, a, a, a level of provenance attached to it, a lovely hoppy dairy pale ale. The second one is Stitch, which is an Indian pale ale, which is really, for me, it's a sort of a celebration of hops. There's a lot of hops going into it, higher ABV as well, and, and a higher hop content, which is great. The third one is Kix, which is a Pilsner. It's going back to maybe a lighter cider beer. The, the beer itself is, is it's styled in a Pilsner style, therefore it's, we have soft water in Derry, we have their soft water in Pils in the Czech Republic where it's brewed as well. So it's really maybe a stepping stone on a craft beer. The final one is Wit. Wit is named after the famous Derry Wit. It's actually a wheat beer and uh, German for wheat is wit. So it's gonna be a wheat beer, so what you're gonna get off that, you're gonna get banana, you're gonna get um, sort of uh, clove flavor. But the four of them together, the four core brands, so Boom, Stitch, Kicks and Wit are gonna to work together as a sort of portfolio. And hopefully, when you come over here, you'll be able to taste all of them, and one of them you just fall in love with.
Well, it's a very exciting development for uh, both Derry and Everington Square here. Um, the start of hopefully a real thriving square and lots of good stuff happening. Um, and uh, good good start, or sorry, a good legacy for um, the city of culture and all the good stuff that was happening there. And this is the next, next step to get exciting places like this. I think it's a great idea. It's, uh, it's definitely unique anyway. I don't think we have any in the city actually, so this is the first and I, I do like my beer. I've been known to take a sample of it now and again, but uh, have this sort of locally brewed stuff. Um, I'm actually looking forward to it.